So I want to respond to a question from our friend Justin, who basically, they say he says a few things, but mainly he says towards the end of the question, is lucid dreaming encouraged by God? Is it religiously acceptable? Now, I want to approach this in a few ways, and I've actually got a few insights that I want to share about this. So I have been getting a couple of questions every now and then from people saying, I'm a Christian, say, for example, or I'm a, a Hindu, right? And I want to learn how to lucid dream, but I'm worried that it's not acceptable in my religion to learn how to lucid dream. Maybe they've read forum posts, maybe there's, it's sort of a gray area, right? And I feel like for a lot of religions, there's this gray area where lucid dreaming is not mentioned directly in any religious texts, as far as I'm aware, right? It's not, it's not directly called out. No, I, I don't know that of any religious texts that say lucid dreaming is allowed or lucid dreaming is not allowed and so for that reason it's almost entirely dependent on what other people think what other religious people you know somebody that's following a certain religion what they think and therefore what they post online whether that's through a forum or on a reddit post or on their own website now now personally i want to just make it completely clear that i'm not religious myself okay i'm an agnostic meaning i don't believe in a particular god but i don't also deny the fact that there is probably a higher power that has created everything and that you know the the universe is made up of governed by and that we are all intrinsically connected to in some sort of cellular or you know some sort of other way so that's my full disclosure however here's what i think about lucid dreaming when you lucid dream what are you really doing? Okay, really what you're doing is you're just allowing the conscious part of your brain to be more active in a part of the sleep that would no that you would normally be asleep in. You're just allowing yourself to be more involved in the dreaming process, which was going to happen anyway. You were going to dream anyway, regardless of what religion you are, or what you know, regardless of what religion you follow, you were going to dream anyway. All you're doing is becoming aware of it. The reason that it's so subjective and such a grey area is because in a lucid dream, you can decide what to do. So really it comes down to what you decide to do in a lucid dream. That really makes it acceptable or not acceptable, I would say, in any given religion. Now let me give you an example of this. Let's say if your particular religion forbids the eating of meat. If you then have a lucid dream and consciously decide to eat meat, I would say that is probably going against the teachings of your particular religion because you're consciously deciding even though it's in a dream you're consciously you're consciously deciding to do something that you know is wrong and that is where it becomes an issue same thing with any religion it actually goes beyond religion it's more just about your moral code let's say if in a lucid dream you go and kill someone okay that is in most people's eyes wrong and it is indeed wrong to do that so if you go and consciously decide because remember you're in control of what you do in a lucid dream so if you go in and decide consciously to go and kill someone in a lucid dream even though it's not real you have still consciously decided to do that and so in my opinion that makes it wrong not only morally but also in terms of your religion because you're deciding to do it. It's almost, to your brain, it's the same as if you'd actually done the thing. So although lucid dreaming can be used for escapism, although lucid dreaming can be used to do things that you otherwise wouldn't do because they're not allowed, they're illegal, whatever, if you're deciding to do these things consciously, if you're making the decision to go and deliberately do something you know is wrong, in my opinion, that's as wrong as pretty much as wrong as doing it in real life. Of course, there are some exceptions to this. Like for example, say if you go into a lucid dream and you slap your boss or you know, you push someone over or something, something low key that's not really that harmful, that seems to be fine and on how you feel as a person. However, if every time you lucid dream, you go on a murdering rampage, you know, or you start stealing or start being violent and that sort of thing is gonna have a negative impact on you as a person. You're going to bring something, you're going to bring some of that back into the waking world. Even if it's something that's just below the surface, something that's lying dormant. You don't want to have that negative energy, that negative intention. You don't want to bring that into your life. So my question, you know, regarding lucid dreaming and religion is just consider, would you do what you are doing in a lucid dream in the real world? If you wouldn't, then you probably shouldn't be doing it.
Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.